Hey, welcome back, guys. So, so far, we have enough information on our product except for the image. So, we're going to see how to upload an image as well. But in the meantime, let's see a way to actually display this data right here. Okay, so let's go back to our text editor here and I'm going to go to the table. Uh, where is the table? Okay, so the data is returned through table rows over here. So which means we have to go to our classes, which is the model. And that is product class. And this is where we have the make table right there. So right here is where we need to add more stuff. So as you can see, this cut row here description. And so we will add a few more. So instead of um, instead of description, we're going to put quantity, quantity, and then we're going to put the category, and then we're going to put the price. Okay. So we might also want to put the debt added when we added it. So this is the date. Let's see a few more that we need over here. So we do have a date, we have quantity, we have price and category and so on. But remember that uh, category is just a, um, a number here. So we have to actually retrieve that category. But before we do that, uh, I think our table requires some headers so let's come back here and let's refresh this table so we need the appropriate headers here so let's go that is actually inside our products.php which is right there so product name and then instead of status we have a quantity and let's duplicate quantity a few times here and then we're going to have a um, category and then we're going to have the price of course and then we will have the date like that right but we might want to put the product id as well just in case who knows we may need that so let me go back here and let's do exactly that as well here and just put the id Okay, so let's do another refresh and things are looking uh, much better. But uh, we can remove the icons here because they don't actually match what we want. We can just leave the product. But uh, being a font awesome person, you can figure out what, uh, what icon to put here. That's entirely up to you because that's a design issue. So I will leave it at that let me save this and let me see what happens without yeah so that 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 is just fine for me so i will remove the following as well quantity i'll just leave the one for action so that i can leave okay so there we go so quantity price but the category doesn't have a name so we need to get the name of that category. And we're going to do that inside the product class make table. So here I will say category. So I will get this as my sample here. That's the ID for the category. And so if I go to the category.class.php here, we obviously have one where we get all and so I want to be able to get one category if I want to. And so I will duplicate one of these public functions right here and then get one instead of get all. And then I will put the ID over there because I know that's what I'll be supplying to the thing. It's going to be an ID. So everything here is good. Selector from categories. No need to order because it's just one item. I'll just tell it to limit one and give it a where clause to tell it exactly 
what to retrieve. So I'll say where ID is equal to that ID over there. Now, a good practice is to put the quotation marks like that. And also, it's a good idea to sanitize our item. So I'll just make sure that it's an integer because that's what I'm expecting anyway. So I would cast it as an integer that way. So this will make sure that whether it comes in as text, it will just be converted to one ID. Okay, and this should be return db. Now the problem is we are returning one item here and this will return an array of objects, right? But I don't want to return that. So instead I will assign it to some value and just say data is equal to. And then right over here, I will return data but I will select the first item like so, so that it's not an array of arrays because it's just one item that we want. Okay, so that is good, get one, very good. This is the category class, very good. So at this point, what we can do is I can call, uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so from inside here, I want to load um, I want to load the product class here. Oh, wait, the category is class. So let's load it right here. I will say um, category class. You can name it anything you want is equal to this load model. Now, of course, we don't have load model here, right? And this is the product. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the product class. And the other class is this one here. Okay, so somehow we need to call the... Um, okay, wait a minute. So let's let's do a uh, a trace backward here. So the first thing we have to notice that uh, we are inside the admin controller, okay? So this is where we are, the admin controller, and inside there we are over here where we are reading uh, items here. Now remember that when we say this load model, we are talking about the controller. And the controller is extending the main controller, which has that item load model. So it means if we are in here, for example, let's say categories. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, so this is make table right here. So we are supplying something inside this function. So since we are inside the controller, we can still use this to recognize that. So I don't know if that will actually work, but another way we can do it is to supply an item here into there. So let's just try and see if it can actually work. So let's go back here for a second. That's uh, product class, is it? Yes, yes. So let's load the model uh, product, like so. Mm -hmm. Is it product or products? No, what we are loading is category. Sorry, I'm getting confused here because we want to read a category. So this is the class we are loading. There we go. Now at this point, let's... Um, let me do uh, a get one and that one we're going to supply an ID of course and then I will save this to one category one cat is equal to mm hmm now with categories uh, if I come back here and check the category where is the actual name is inside the category column so from here, we're going to use one cat category. 
like that. Okay, one card category. And then here, let's put that ID instead. Okay, so let me copy one of these. Because the category from uh, cut row is a number. So that should work. So let's see if it actually works or we get an error. So it's saying code one defined method product load model. So as I thought, uh, this is the line with the problem. It's not supposed to be this. Now, there's one thing we can do. So this is cheating. Uh, one other thing we could do is put one more parameter here and call it uh, model and just set it to no so that we can use it if we want. So we could do that. Or a second way to do it is to call the, the where is this one, the make table statically. So we can do that by just calling, uh, instead of instantiating it like this, we just call it directly. We say product uh, category, get one like that. Now the problem is we obviously have to load this in order to be able to call it. So this will not work either, I guess. So let's just say model here is equal to no. Of course, let's put our so what we're doing here is we're saying uh, sometimes we will have a model here to use, sometimes we might not, but uh, in this case, we will have one. So I'm just going to say model and put it there, get one like that. So we can put any model here. So let's go back to... Um, the admin yeah so right before we say make table let's create two of these models so we have one oh actually this already exists the category model so all we need to do is add it there as well like so that should work I'm presuming product load model oh <clears throat> So I've added this model here, but let's go back to the product class here and let's remove this line right there. So we don't need this line no more. Refresh. Ooh. Call to a member function, get one on no. So this one is a no, but why? When, if we go back to admin, table rows oh this is my bad sorry uh, this is the wrong place this is the categories so what I will do is cut that out sorry again we're supposed to be in products here so make table let's put that one there and let me copy the categories one here instantiate it there that should solve our problem Okay, but uh, yeah, so it looks like uh, things are looking up.